What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Go news alert. Today we have quite a bit to talk about so let's get right into it. So first off there's going to be a brand new update added to Pokemon Go soon that's going to add the buddy system. Now we just talked about this recently but basically there are a few new things to talk about. So it is now confirmed from the Pokemon website itself that there are going to be other perks to it than just normal candy that you're going to get from having a buddy Pokemon. Now most people are taking this as a very positive announcement but there are some general concerns for it as well. See, while this might also just be something in addition to the normal candies, it could be in replacement of the normal candies at each increment. See, basically what happens is for rare Pokemon, you're going to have to go three kilometers for every single candy, or at least that's what we thought before this most recent news. What it could actually be is a bar that fills up every three kilometers, and then you have a chance to get a candy when that bar fills up. Now, this would be pretty awful to be completely completely honest, it totally derails the hype train I had for it and the hype train a lot of people had for it, so I'm really hoping that's not the case. If it does in fact work in addition to the normal candy you'll get every certain increment, then I definitely am totally fine with it, but otherwise I'm a little bit concerned. But in other news, we got some really awesome news from the Apple press conference today. For those of you that don't know, September 7th was pinned down as the day that Apple is supposed to have one of their normal press conferences. They were just going to introduce a new iPhone, and most people thought that was where it was going to end. The thing is, is they also decided to have a guest developer in, and it was none other than Niantic themselves. Niantic decided to announce that they were going to have an app built into the Apple Watch, which basically means that you can just have your normal watch on your wrist, and you're going to be able to play Pokemon Go on it. Obviously, there are some limitations to that, but it's definitely really cool to hear. And overall, I do think it's fantastic to say that you're not going to actually have to have your app open on your phone and having it actually out in your hand or on a wristband or anything inconvenient like that and still be able to catch Pokemon or spin Poke Stops or something like that, be able to track your eggs, be able to see Pokemon in the nearby area. It's definitely a really awesome thing to have access to. Overall, I'm really excited for it. I think this might actually seal the deal. I might actually end up getting an Apple Watch just to demo this for you guys. So we'll see how that goes, but it's definitely up on my list of things to get in the future. Okay, really though, that Mario Run app looks really fun and we're gonna do a one-off of that too at some point because I definitely wanna play that on the channel. Real talk though, Android users are feeling a little bit left out after this press conference and I totally understand why. See, there are tons of Android watches out right now that have been out for a long period of time since before the Apple Watch was even out and I definitely think that they're just as powerful if not more powerful than the Apple Watch itself. So I can definitely see why people are a little bit concerned about this. I would say that most likely this is just going to be an exclusive to the Apple Watch for a very short period of time and that eventually it most likely will make its way to Android watches too. So if you guys are concerned about that, I definitely would wait a little while until they decide to clarify about it. If they actually do come out and say that they're not going to put it on the Android watches, I would say then you can be concerned about it, but right now there's really no reason to. Overall, you should probably be a little bit more excited about it because this is just a proof of concept that they're actually working towards these awesome innovations on the app and in the future it's going to be a lot more accessible to use while you're on the go. And yeah guys that's going to be about it for this one. If I missed anything today make sure to drop me a comment. I will cover it in a future video. Also if you want to check out some screenshots of the actual press conference where they showed off how it would work on the Apple Watch make sure you check the link I have down below. There's like 11 screenshots of it and you can check out the actual conference itself if you want to see the actual videos of it. But until the next one guys. Peace.